I've been married for almost 12 years and I know the importance of having a date night. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some low cost and quarantine date night ideas. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Shayla. Um, like I said, today I'm gonna share with you some low cost and quarantine date night ideas. Um, my husband and I have been married for almost 12 years now. Um, it's crazy to even say that, <laughs> uh, but we have come to know the importance of date night and we are living on one income. So even more so, we know how to, you know, save a few coins. So first I wanna talk about uh, the free options because I know that everybody prefers to do things for free, am I right? <laughs> so um, one of the things that you can do is actually cook a meal together. Now obviously like you have to buy the food and stuff, but if you planned your meals ahead of time, if you have a planned date night, then you can purchase the items that you need when you do your regular grocery shopping. So shameless plug here, you can check out my meal planning video on that. Um, but yeah, you can definitely plan together um, plan to cook a meal together. Um, I think that is something that is cool just to be like, you know, chopping vegetables together. You know, maybe one person is doing the meats, the other person is doing uh, the starch or the grains or however you wanna do it or make a dessert. Baking is also a good opportunity. Another thing too is if you wanted to make it like a fun experience, they have like these cooking classes that you could do virtually. Um, and then the two of you like, you know, obviously you're cooking in your own kitchen. Um, or even if you are, quarantining here's something if you're quarantining facetime each other and like make the same dish at the same time like go through the recipe together um i think that's something that's really cool too so you can still have like the cooking experience but you're still quarantining and staying safe another thing that you could do for completely no cost is be a kid act like a kid you can build a fort you can play hide and seek you can fly a kite there's all sorts of things just Come back in tune with your inner child and think of things that you can do that you, play kickball. Although my husband, he uh, <laughs> he sprained his ankle playing kickball back in September. That's, that's another story for another day. But you know, have some fun, run around, do like a relay race in your house or do like a scavenger hunt. Things that um, you had fun doing as a kid and like bring your partner along on a journey. Um, you could also do things like have a themed night so if you're having dinner together like let's just say you want to order takeout like and you want to watch a movie dress as the like the year that the movie was made so if you're watching like a classic from the 80s or the 70s then dress like in 70s attire like that's something that would be fun and it's just it's different you know what i mean just something to make the night special another thing that you could do for pretty much free is arts and crafts find paper you could listen even if you spend a dollar at the at the dollar store or two dollars buying crayons or markers or whatever like do a craft together get some construction paper make like little valentines or love notes and decorate them all nice maybe your partner would think that's kind of cheesy but you know whatever have him let him suck it up he can he can do it for two hours um but yeah doing arts and crafts together or like making cards for somebody else um, especially like in quarantine, if there's people that you haven't seen for a while um, or family members that you aren't able to visit, then make them a card and like and mail it to them. Here's another thing that you could do, find a show to watch together. So my husband and I do this. Um, we have several shows on our list actually. I'm still trying to get him to watch This Is Us with me. <sighs> we'll see, I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm already hip. He's the one that's still like stuck. He saw me watching it one time back in season one and was like, what is this Back to the Future show? <laughs> so he hasn't watched it with me, but I'm, I'm inching him closer towards watching it with me. Um, but right now we're watching Blackish, you know, all the Netflix shows, Stranger Things. Um, and then we've got Hulu. We've got like all the classics too, you know, the Bernie Mac show, Family Matters, um, stuff like that. Finding something that you enjoy watching together um, can also, uh, give you guys that special bonding time. All right, so here are a couple that might cost you a little bit of money. Um, you can have a spa night. So it does, you don't have to break the bank. You don't have to go buy like all these expensive products. You can easily go to places like um, Ross or TJ Maxx, um, even Walmart they have like, or even, you know what, you can probably go to the makeup stores too because they have the little sample packages of stuff and you can do like facials. Um, you can like get your, you know, do your feet. Um, get the little pumice stone and, you know, hand, handle business, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or 
while you watch your show or whatever, but having that little bit of pampering time, I think that would be a really nice date night as well. Another thing that you could do, of course, is have like a romantic dinner, but just order takeout. Um, so set up your table really nice, put the flowers and the candles and everything, um, and just go ahead and order like a nice meal. Now for us, we're foodies. So we don't particularly like the super expensive restaurants, although you could because a lot of them are doing takeout now, but their portions are too small for my husband specifically. Um, but what you could do is you could find like food trucks or some local businesses that you could support um, and it can still be a really nice romantic meal. Another thing that you could do is you could have a game night. So board games, card games. My husband thinks he can beat me in spades, but he cannot. I um, beat him every time. Um, and we just actually, um, my oldest son, he got this like whole stack. It's like 10 different card games, phase 10, Uno, um, I want to say like Pictionary, there's Go Fish, like all these types of card games. And so we'll sit and we'll play those together. Um, you could play games like Candyland. You could play games like, um, Mousetrap, like some of the old classic games. I think that would be really fun. Um, kind of in the same vein, I heard about two different types of games that I haven't actually purchased yet, but I do plan to purchase them this year. Um, one is called the Adventure Challenge. And I don't know if you've seen this before floating around. They have ads everywhere. I keep getting bombarded with them on Facebook, but it's called the Invent Adventure Challenge. And it's like a book where you can go through and decide on adventures that you want to do. And they're unknown so you have to like do us it's like a scratch off type of thing and it tells you like what you're supposed to do before you scratch it off it's got um like the amount of money that it costs um and then there's one package where you can get just the book or you can buy the the book along with the camera to actually take pictures as you're doing it so i think that's just something that's really cool um, I believe that you create like this keepsake box and you put all of your memories from the adventure challenges in this box so that way when you're done, you have like all of these cool things that you've done. They have a couples one and they have a families one and they actually have a singles one as well. So I think that's really cool to give the opportunity. I wanna buy the family one, um, maybe when the kids get a little older because it's activities like make a breakfast, that has all the colors of the rainbow. So it just sounds like a mess. Something really fun, but maybe a little bit messy for the family ones. Um, but yeah, so anyway, the adventure challenge, I'll put the link in the description box below for you so you can check that out. As well as this other game that um, I, me and my husband, we actually went uh, on a double date with some friends. We went over to their house um, and it's a game called The And. And it's basically like a set of cards um, and their conversation starters and their questions on there. So the cards are 24, the, the decks are $24.99. Um, they've got a couples edition, dating edition, long-term couples and friends edition. Um, so I'll read you some questions from the couples edition. It's got questions like, why do you love me? Um, what is preventing me from becoming the person I want to be? So they're very deep questions. Um, and I just, I really like that because especially for somebody like me, who's an introvert, you know, sometimes I have a hard time processing or like maybe finding the words to say or like starting different conversations. And so this game is like really good for me. So anyway, so you, as you can see, these are really, really good questions. This is by a company called The Skin Deep. Um, and so I highly recommend, I really enjoy playing that game. I'm gonna put the description I'm gonna put the link in the description box for you so you can check that out as well. Now, of course, I did not name all of the things that you could do for low cost or no cost or quarantining. Um, so let me know in the comment section, what are some day night ideas that you have? I always love hearing from you guys and you guys can help other people by putting your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget, hiding is overrated and I'll see you next time.